Hey, hey, mailbag 38-ish. Electronic components. Some of it's resupply, some of it's just new stuff. And AliExpress fluff. I'm going to do the fluff one first. So let's get this one out of the way. And now I'll zoom down to it. Well, there's no lies on the outside of the package. It means it got repackaged in Canada. And let's see what's inside here. I think I know. Let's look for labels. Okay, well, we'll start with this one. It's for plug it into the car, and you've got a couple spare uh, USB uh, sockets. Now it says on here USB A 5 to 20 uh, volts, 5 amps, C output. 5 volt to 3.1 amp, uh, USB plus type C, 5 volts, uh, 4.8 amps maximum. So a total of, a, they claim, 120 uh, watt output on this thing. If there's any comments about it, I will test it out with a car battery, etc. And then tear it apart. Ah, uh, this one. So, oh. comes with its own base. Something. I now own a solar airplane. Never thought I'd have a airplane. There we go. Let's take this off. I kind of wonder what's in this package. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, I'll put the listing up there. Uh, it said it was unscented, and I was just like, what do you mean unscented? Well, those are obviously the scents for it. So let's see if I can get this thing going. Need to get a few more lights on it. Okay, this will just blind you. So will bring a light LED light down to it, and yes, that propeller is spinning. Now let me just zoom in a bit. So it does work. Total price was two dollars and seventy-five cents uh, for it, and also uh, two dollars and seventy-five cents for this also. And let me just package up that uh, that non is non scent. I hate to think what their scented ones like. Uh, item number three is I have now got to Mars. So, I had to open this up a second time. Uh, the surface in here is extremely reflective. Come on. You can... There you go. Now this thing does save ages 14 plus. Uh, there's going to be lots of little sharp edges in here. But it kind of looks like a neat toy. I paid $2.79 for this, but the listing is gone. Probably because they're selling it for $2.79. So here's the instructions. It's kind of cute. I'm not sure... You'd want this around any little kids, though, because of all the small parts. 
and uh, this could be fairly sharp. So at some point on a cold rainy night I'll put this together. And now on to the big box. So this newer order was done properly. I clicked the button that said ship when you have all the parts. What I'll do though is I'll just empty it all out here. There should be some, yep, some paperwork. So well, let's just see what's in here. Keep that part facing that way. More, more, and more. So I've got them sorted into what they are and start off with the wire. Black 24 uh, AWG. Some red. These are all solid core. Uh, this should be wire too. Yellow. I was actually completely out of uh, red wire. And green, if that shows up. So this is all uh, PVC coated 24 AWG which works out to be 0 0.0201 inch diameter or 0.51 millimeter. Uh, it's good to 3.5 uh, amps and I believe the coating's a 300 uh, volt coating. That was simply a restock. Now to the interesting things. There we go. So much for this video going smoothly. I think I just pushed the wrong button. Okay, these ones here cost uh, three cents a piece. And they're tiny. I'll put the diameters in the corner there. These are for uh, jewel thieves. And I'll wrap some of them up uh, in the future. Not using my 0 .06 wire, which I found I just snapped so easily. But 100 of these, 3 cents a piece. I've got a lifetime supply. This one here. This one here is uh, 40 uh, microhenries. I actually bought them more for the core. Uh, they're dirt cheap. Uh, I believe it was 12 cents a piece. So I picked up 30 of them. And I picked up 20 of these. Uh, these were are 550 uh, microhenries. And they cost me a whopping 21 cents a piece. For the other two items. These are uh, photodiodes. Let's see if I can get that. Here we go. These are for some radiation uh, projects. Apparently you can use these as little um, uh, detectors for if a gamma ray hits it, it goes straight through your outer housing. You keep these in the dark uh, location and they will actually indicate something hit them. Now, the, these two parts are kind of weird. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, both of them are part, the one is BPW space 3-4. And it's good uh, peaks at 850 nanometers. The other one 
is BPW no space 34 and it's at 900 uh, nanometers. I bought 10 of each. Uh, the one is 43 cents a piece and the other one is 89 cents a piece. And now on to the meter. So here's the new meter. It's a Bluetooth. <laughs> I'll put the specs up in the corner there. Uh, I've got a just a regular digital voltmeter. Mastercraft, so it's from Canadian Tire. Uh, Fluke, which does less than this one. And an induction capacitance and resistance meter. Let's get them out of the way. So right now I've got this hooked up to my function generator up there. 16.34 uh, kilohertz. Uh, my function generator is old. So this is probably quite accurate. Uh, what other things does this thing do? Okay, diodes. Uh, or diodes, capacitors, uh, voltage, ampage. All the things that you would hope they would do. Now let's switch it. It even came with a temperature probes. It says it's uh, 24. That's about right for here. And it's got this uh, non-contact voltage. I tried this against the wall and it wouldn't detect where the wire was. So you can't use it as a wire detector that way. I'll just move it over to my light. And it did indicate uh, the electrical wire in my uh, light. So that does work. I'm going to have to go through this and figure out what everything does. Uh, I've never had a Bluetooth uh, meter, so this should be interesting. Now, this was a disaster of a mailbag, losing all that footage and that reeking smell from that uh, solar airplane. So that's a wrap. Have a good day.